hi in today's class we'll see the concept of null values in sql guys when you are going to insert certain data into the database you may get null values right so at what situation you are going to get for example i am inserting the data like id number followed by name and there is a field called marks field which i am not interested to enter then i am going to get null values right similarly for example id number 2 whose name he don't want to disclose then also you can able to place as null value and whose marks are something like 53 53 right means in these two cases user is not interested to enter values so here we need to place null values right so and if you take the another case another case where id number is 3 whose name is k whose marks are 54 whose marks are 54 and assume that assume that he has some uh, kind of data where uh, other number field is there other number field is there right he don't have the other card and he also uh, doesn't having applicable for other then at this situation also i need to place this particular field as null value meaning that the another situation is when the user is not applicable for the respect field he is going to place it as null value i mean this is not going to be done by uh, the user actually user is going to enter the respect to values in the form if you take any html form where you are trying to ask the user as first name last name and let us suppose other number followed by submit button right if user is not interested to enter the first name or last name for example first name is j last name not entered and other number is entered two then the data is going to be inserted in the database like j and last name is null and other number is two sometimes first name is not entered last name is entered and other number is not applicable for this particular reason then then what will happen now first name is null last name is j other number is also null right? these are the two cases generally where you are going to get uh, null values right the reason why we are discussing this concept here is when you are going to have null values in the database what is going to happen that you have to check right otherwise it may lead to a large problems okay uh, for example, let me try to take certain data. For example, you can observe here select star from ECE. I have a table data called ECE where you are going to get the data. Right now, if I would like to display the faculty details, the faculty details whose age is 56 as you right. So I can write as from ECE where E is equal to 56. We got the data, right? Similarly, I want to find out the faculties with respect to the faculty name. With respect to the faculty name. So, E faculty equal to select star from ECE where E faculty equal to, let us take it as J1. I got the data. Assume that here there is a faculty with the name null meaning that they don't have any name entered but we need to take it to compare so e faculty equal to null right observe what you got you got here as empty set but guys as you are getting the empty set is it correct no so means when you are trying to perform comparison with null values when you are trying to perform comparison with null values i mean select star from ECE where E faculty equal to null we have written right at that situation you haven't got any records that is uh, they are putting it as empty set empty set right empty set means this kind of situation in database I can call it as unknown situation unknown situation because of the unknown situation they are putting it as empty set means when you are going to get the unknown situation means when you are trying to perform comparison over comparison operation over the null values then you are going to get 
unknown values unknown value. comparison means what it can be equal to operator less than greater than greater than or equal to less than or equal to not equal to like that whatever the comparison of related operator are there when you are trying to perform uh, comparison you are going to get uh, unknown data unknown data right so based on this reason i can say that sql is a kind of three valued logic sql is three valued logic so what are the meaning of three valued logic what is two logic in in some subjects you can able to write you can able to write boolean values are like two values logic one is true another one is false and in sql there is one more logic is there that is unknown so you are going to get unknown when you are going to uh, perform comparison over null values and is there any situations where you will get the unknown unknown situation yes right see when you are trying to perform addition over null value see uh, i am trying to do select select 3 plus null what you are going to get you are going to get null right this particular situation you are going to get null value meaning that when you are going to perform when you are going to perform arithmetic operation over null values arithmetic operation with the null values you are going to get the result as null mark you are going to get the result as null but try to take the situation where when you try to compare with the logical operators what will happen right logical operators with the null values so let me write those so if you take here uh, the three values true false and another possibility is unknown another possibility is unknown and true false and unknown i am writing for logical and operator and operator right? when it is true and true you know the logic true and true is true true and false is false and false and true is false false and false is also false right what about the situation for true and unknown true and unknown is unknown false and false and unknown is false mark. and unknown unknown and true is unknown unknown and false is false unknown and unknown is unknown this is the thing what you have to know similarly if you take out r if you take out r case if you would like to check true false and unknown with the true false and unknown basically true or a true is true true or false is true false or true is true false or false only false what about true or unknown it is true false or unknown is unknown and unknown or true is true mark unknown or false is unknown unknown or uh, unknown is unknown see guys this is a simple thing actually uh, see uh, basically when you are going to have boolean values boolean values are like 0 and 1 0 and 1 0 means false 1 means true this is you know this the relation between these two right uh, i think you can able to clearly understood all this right we have to know the meaning of or the relation between true and unknown false and unknown right see where the unknown value is going to range unknown value is going to range between definitely 0 and 1 right so here i can take it as unknown take it as unknown right now observe when you are going to have r operator when you are going to have r operator 1 or 0 what it is going to happen 1 meaning that it is going to produce the maximum value it is going to produce the maximum value when you are going to take the situation of and 0 and 1 it is going to produce the least value means means in the r case see if i try to write for the r case r case 0 or unknown what is the so in r case you have to take the maximum value 0 or unknown is unknown so that's why 0 uh, means what false let me write here in the r case in the r case false or 
unknown you are going to get unknown because maximum value you are going to get maximum value you are going to get right so false or unknown you are going to get as unknown take out the case for uh, false and union false and unknown right so if you take the false and unknown take the false and unknown try to observe what will happen when it is under operation you have to take out the least value false and unknown is false the simple thing is guys when you are going to have 0 and 1 you are going to get 0 only because in the and case you are going to get the least value least value that's why you can make it as false and unknown is false okay so if you take out the case for unknown and false again you are going to get the least value what is the least value false only right similarly unknown or false what is the maximum value you are going to get in our case you have to consider maximum value that is unknown or false is unknown like this you can able to understood right so this is the way so when it is comparison operators the result is going to be unknown unknown means it is empty set it, it can't able to do anything when it is performing arithmetic operations you are going to get null value when you are going to get logical operators over the null values you are going to get the respect to things respect to things okay fine so now let's see uh, the clear cut example how it is behaving over the null values okay fine so for example i would like to write a query which is meant for to filter the data select star from ec where ea should be greater than 54 or e faculty name should be e3 assume we got the data right so means their age is greater than 54 or it can be e3 right so i think there are no faculty with the name e3 the name e3 okay fine so here because of this condition meaning that both when when it is one is true another one is false in the r case the result is true the result is true so you are going to get the data like this i hope you understood this one right now i will try to write the query I will try to write the query where the case is uh, e faculty is null e faculty is null right so e faculty null is like e faculty equal to null any data we got no right what is the solution for this one actually can you able to use is operator is null this is the way you can able to get but here my point is i would like to show how these tables are behaving these tables are behaving so for that what i can do now uh, i will try to place see you can you can understand one more thing here e is 54 e is 54 and the other case is null the other case is null so meaning that one is one is true one is true one is true other is unknown other is unknown in the r case the result is true the result is true that's why we got null 55 also null 55 also but take out the case for another thing for example if i would like to show uh, i will like to update the values update which table name unit update ece set E is also null I am going to place. Null where E faculty name is let us assume that it says F1 or let me take it as J1. If I enter one row is updated. If you observe select star from EC. We have updated two files two fields with null values. Okay guys. Here you can able to observe earlier we got null 55 okay earlier j159 also we got j159 also we got right now that 59 is updated with null value null value 
Now let us write the case for previous query, same previous query. What is going to happen? You are going to get null 55 and E4 56. E4 56. Why? Why? why, why? Because, because here E A is greater than 54 is true for some cases and E faculty is equal to 3, E 3 is true for some cases. So, under an R operation, you got the data. You got the data. But there is a situation where, where E faculty is, E faculty name is not equal to E 3 and the E age is null. So, that is the reason it is not displaying in the output. Output, right? So, if you want, you can, you can get clarity. I am going to write as J1. If I write as J1, what is happened? You got the data. J1 along with the null values. Update. Update. The table name is ECE. Set EA is equal to 59. Where E faculty name is E faculty name is J1. Try to observe. Again, I am trying to print what is there in the EC table. Yes, I got. Now, try to write the query for the same thing. Now, how it will be here? You got null 55, E4 56 and J1 59. J1 59. The same query for the earlier case when, when J1 is null. You got the data like this. Okay, this is the way it will be affected. 